In the heart of the Eastern Cape, a dark shadow stalks the land. Mass killings have wiped out entire families. Not last week in Mtata, five members of one family were killed by marauding gangs of armed men. A husband and wife were sleeping in warm embrace in their rondavel when their assailants barged in and shot them dead at point-blank range. The gunmen carried on their murderous spree, spraying other huts in the homestead with bullets. Another three bodies. It was only two little children who managed to escape to alert neighbors, and they themselves were injured. Last month, of course, in coastal Lusikisiki, 18 members of a family were mowed down. This as they prepared to end mourning rituals for two more relatives who had been killed similarly a year before. It now turns out the suspect arrested in connection with that case is a parolee recently out of prison and clearly quite far from being rehabilitated. What the devil is going on? Nom Teteli Mene is the Provincial Commissioner of the Eastern Cape and joins us now on the line. Commissioner, thank you so much uh, for your time this morning. What explains these mass shootings in the Eastern Cape? Uh, good morning to you, Bang, and good morning to your listeners at home. Um, firstly, we happen to know about these matters when they have taken place, simply because they have a commonality um, in, 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 in having been planned beforehand, you would say premeditated matters. It is not just an incident where people are just gathered and then uh, the other one would kill the other one. So it is well-planned matters. Um, unfortunately, and it, 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 it is troubling us as, as the SAPS of the province, but there's a commonality in being planned, premeditated, as I've said, and also executed someone planning to execute the plan. What are they connected to? Organized crime, perhaps? No, not really organized crime. They they seem to to be family either family re- revenge um, matters within the families that were not uh, disputes I should say that were not uh, resolved uh, now being uh, resolved by using uh, force uh, in terms of killing the the, the family. So also the, with the other incident, one incident it was a love triangle that went wrong where this ex-boyfriend went to kill the boyfriend, the current boyfriend. Unfortunately, the, the boyfriend was with friends at the time, and he just arrived and shot everyone. But often, high-caliber firearms and weapons are used. We know that six of the top 30 stations for murder are in the Eastern Cape. Uh, surely there's more to explain these than perhaps uh, just those incidents. Let me correct the six of the top thirty. Uh, we've got two stations in the in the in the in the, in the top thirty as as, uh, as the matter in the country, uh, depending on which uh, time frame you're looking at. But but then again, if you look at these matters, as I said, when we cannot um, address them proactively, because you know the layout of the SNK province, it's very rural. In all three cases, the three, the Lusikisiki, the Kumbu, the Big, it happened in the rural areas. So you would not respond very easily because the area is vast. That's the first thing. The, 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 the one in Kabeha, we could respond quicker. Um, the, the suspect was found in a house cornered by the police and, and all that. But, but the, the commonality of the, the rifles, I need to say, and I need to admit that, and, and it's, it's, it's a known thing that we have a, a circulation of firearms that are in the wrong hands in the country, not only in the Eastern Cape. So there's a worry then about the proliferation of illegal arms, and are the police on top of that? Yes, we are, because we've escalated on the on the on the on the, on the level of uh, management, the issue of uh, dealing with firearms, and we have our sister departments, the stakeholders that are involved in saying what is it that we need to do to to ensure that we now reduce the uh, illegal firearms in the hands of uh, criminals. I saw a warning for tourists to stay away from your province. I mean, if you can't protect your own residents, why would visitors take the chance? Visitors should, should, are not taking the chance because we are also staying in the province. So it wouldn't mean that visitors are taking a chance because we are also staying in the province. The only thing that we have 
you, when you, you look at the visitors currently, um, I get worried when you say they should stay away because it is the... We are, we are no, 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 I'm not the, saying, hold on, I'm not saying, it's not me who's saying they should stay away. I saw, I'm saying I saw a warning for tourists okay. to stay away from the Eastern Cape due to concerns of safety. And I'm saying if residents of the province from Gabecha to Lusikisiki to Mtata, as you've mentioned, if they're not safe, why would visitors take the chance? Okay, I hear you. My apologies. I, uh, when it comes to the visitors, we are already in the festive season, already in the first phase of the festive season plan. So meaning that we have reduced our numbers in terms of uh, members out there, visibility, the roadblocks, all the activities. We're falling in line with Operation Sanella, which is the national um, uh, crime prevention operation. So visitors shouldn't really be scared because we have augmented the figures. We have deployed even in the in the in, in the areas where they they, they are the tourist uh, destinations because we are concerned about the well-being of everyone, not only the tourists but everyone that is coming into the province of the Eastern Cape. How worried are you about former inmates who repeat their original offences or even worse? Well, it is worrying. It is worrying. Unfortunately, it is another government department that, that deal with uh, parolees. But, but then again, if you listen to our minister, he also mentioned that at that level, it is taken further to say, how does the, the department, that particular department, deal with the parolees? How do they see that this person is really rehabilitated and this person can be taken back to the society? Umtateli Mene is the Provincial Commissioner of the Eastern Cape, SAPS. Are you assured by her words? Would you take a chance to go visit any part of the Eastern Cape? It's one of the loveliest parts of the country, might I add. But would you feel safe? I'm from the Eastern Cape. Current events. Developing stories. Tough questions. Your voice making a difference. This is Breakfast with Bongani Bingwa.